um, I think this is the first one that uh, she, w sh uh, we should say maybe that resonated to uh, the distributors here mm -hmm. in the U.S. Um, I've done a movie here which was produced by an American company called Vertigo Entertainment. They produced The Ring and the Grudge. The film is called The Echo, which was a remake of Sigao. Uh, it didn't go theatrical, but we went uh, DVD and VOD and, and international. But uh, when I made The Road, uh, it's sort of like a, 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 uh, a breakthrough uh, because we sort of like uh, hit the right spot when it comes to distribution and freestyle releasing is distributing it in the US and North America actually uh, took notice because of the very good reviews that we got from uh, the big bloggers, the horror bloggers and also some, some of the press uh, online. Uh, this I think is because of the, f you know, um, the universality of, should I say, uh, horror. I always say that a lot of us are have a fetish in horror. We like to be scared. We like we like to laugh. We like to be afraid. We like to be scared, and especially Pinoys are very you know they're we're very happy and we enjoy horror films. And it just so happened that this film, uh, The Road, uh, crossed over. It crossed over into uh, not just the genre because it's not just horror but also a thriller, supernatural. But it crossed over in terms of um, sensibilities. Uh, again, because it's again universal, uh, they've pretty much um, it resonated in, in terms of how the film uh, um, how the film would play to uh, a general viewing public, not just in the Philippines but also here in the U.S.